Hello, and welcome back for part 39 of the Queek Lord and Hero campaign. So, we are continuing to focus on wiping out the dwarves. And with that in mind, this army led by Knife is going to head into the mountains. Unfortunately, we're at war with the uh, Empire, who are along the way here, but basically, we need to get up to here to take Karak as Garaz, since we need to wipe out Karaz Karak. So let's see, can we actually just hop up? Oh, we can't just hop up all the way here. Nice. Yeah, unfortunately, I maybe should have tried a little harder to get out of the zone of control of Festus by it. I guess next time we're just going to have to go sack it. No big deal. Right. Would be good to keep an eye on Empire armies up here too. I can try and move agents around to achieve that, although I think some of them got wounded or killed. Yeah, we need to come take out Zvorak. I do not think... Oh, I only have seven units here, actually. I was going to say, I don't think um, Belagar, who only has a little tiny army. He's in the fog of war here. He's raiding us as well, so hold on. Yeah, regional raiding. Yeah, so he's here. I wonder if we could even get to him. I don't think it would work, because he'd probably just withdraw, even if he was just in the range of our attack here. So let's just... I guess let's just go attack Zvorak, recolonize, or reoccupy Zvorak. Alright, food wise, we're in decent shape. We're going to be picking up more food from fighting chaos. So taking this at tier 2, I think, is fine. Got extra experience for that, which is kind of funny. Yeah, Matoka's safe. Karak and Garaz, or, or Angazar, sorry, possibly not, but if we lose that, it's no big deal. There's this annoying rogue army faction that's clearly causing me problems here. And this is actually a different faction. Deliver your missive and then get from my presence. I wonder if I maybe do want a non aggression pact with them. Disagree with that? Well, okay. I wonder if I can get them to fight each other. Probably not. No, I... Yeah. It's very difficult to get AI factions to fight stronger AI factions. Let's just see while I'm here. Oh, we can get a non-aggression pact. Of course, they can always break it. I think I'll still do it, though. Uh, it's not very on theme. <laughs> it's like Affirmative. paying money to people not to attack you doesn't seem like a particularly quick thing to do, but whatever. Yeah, so Doc Karaz is likely to fall here. Barak Var is well defended and can hold up for a couple of turns. The annoying thing as well is that not only did this army come out of nowhere, or yeah, this faction, it's also really strong units. Well, I think Ulsus is going to try and clean up Belga, then get over here and deal with this. Um, yeah, I've been getting defenses up. They kind of attacked a couple of the settlements that just happen to not really be defended, which is unfortunate, but I don't think they'll be able to take much territory off us. Right. So yeah, we took Zvorak at tier 2, Myrmidons is at tier 3, I think I'll go ahead and def get defenses here. Not that I expect there to be any trouble, but just because I'm not going to have armed forces down here to defend it. Right, and so Zvorak. Sure, I guess we can go for this. Getting a lot of population surplus. Oh, right, it's all my heroes, of course. Yeah, so this actually gets to tier 3 next turn. And that's good. Did one. 
Knows I dominate. Uh, untrusted worm. Poison after. Right. So that thing's taken care of over here. At least as far as armies go. Let's go to Snitch and Queek. So, what's the plan here? We could try and attack and take out one of these Chaos Armies, then fall back and block the other one. Yeah, I'm down for that. 85% block chance. Yep, nice. Army's really going to be going nowhere. So we've taken out one army and there's, I believe, five more over this side. Yeah, I think... Alright. This terrain is not that easy to navigate, as in it, it uses lots of movement, but I do need to worry about the Chaos Armies that took out Nashrex Lair coming down here. I wouldn't mind one of them coming and blowing Grand Peak up, but we'll see. Alright, so these armies are in reinforcement range of one another, but I'm hoping Snitch can ambush. Or Queek. Okay, so Queek has a 100% ambush success chance. Snitch has 100% too. Alright, well, we can make the attack with Snitch. So, yeah, over the end turn, we Trust killed the first Chaos Army, so let's do those rank ups. Um, I think I was working towards the Deathmaster Sigil, and I just have enough points to get it. Yeah. Uh, more HP on Snooks is probably not too bad. I mean, all, all these would obviously be good, but I'm tempted to go for HP and speed. When I first started playing this game, I really didn't value speed that highly, but I think it, I think that was a mistake. Should kill when get get I think it's, uh, yeah, I think it's very helpful for being a little faster than your enemy, or turn a little faster into a lot faster. Stinks like a grazier. Uh, untrusted worm, poison after. Okay. Yeah, I'll pick up the missile resistance. We're going to be going back to fighting dwarves, so even though weak to betray. <laughs> chaos guys don't have too much in the way of, in the way of missile damage. I think it's still no, worth it. I dominate. Suspiciously loyal is really good. Give Snitch Trust more ward save. Now. You get a plague furnace. Oh, nice. You get a Brutara. That is good timing. And this one is closing in on his bone breaker. What now? So yeah, Quick stands here, going to encamp stance for the stat boost. Oh wait a second, they are in. in they're in. Never. They're in encamp stance. Ouch! Ambush defense stance plus seventy-five. Okay, never mind. In that case, let's just fall back to our own territory. Go into ambush dance again. Yeah, didn't realize that. It's okay, we didn't commit to the attack. And that second army can't get anywhere near over here, so should just be fine. Yeah, he comes down here. Don't think we're likely to get discovered, and I think this army is likely to come walk into our ambush over the next end turn. All right, let's sort out this commandment, then we'll go to other agents. All right, this public order's falling a little quickly. Oh, no, it's fine. It's just the conquest. Yeah, okay. Um, no, don't need that. Right, hero-wise, I definitely lost a few assassins. And I think I had someone... Yeah, I had another hero over here who was wounded or killed. Do I have any... Oh, I do have one one assassin left here. Yeah, the highest rank guy, I guess that makes sense. So maybe I want to run up this way and scout ahead of my army. Can take this guy out on the way. Mm, I don't really think it's worth it. I'm not actually at war with them. Oh, something occurs to me. My throng stands ready. Don't we might want to take them out because the Preza Crack can confederate them. Yeah, we might do a drive-by on Karak Norn here. 
so to speak. Kill them on the way up north. All right, decide that next turn. Oh wow, I only have one. Ah, huh, I did lose all my other heroes. I only have one assassin out at the moment. Okay, and my lack of recruitment buildings kind of costing us here. In the sense that I can't really recruit new assassins particularly close. I can get them out of here though. That's good enough, I guess. Rank 4. What about Black Crag? Or Iron Rock? Oh no, I can't recruit them at all there. Okay. Raza Crack it is then. Yeah, didn't get that up to high enough tier to have all the buildings. I think I'll just grab all three of these. Many, many kills today. Obviously they're coming in at low rank, but I partly want them just for the to betray. <laughs> vision here. Now oh, that's a good follower, but it's not going to be needed. We're not going to join an army with this guy. Yeah, assassinate, that's what we want. Pet wolf rat. Yeah, I think there's one other assassinate buff. Maybe not. Okay, no worries. Okay. Good. What about other heroes? I've got so much capacity, but I, I kind of feel like trying to just ra um, wrap up the campaign with the four armies at this point. Okay, let's look at buildings here. So hopefully this faction does not declare war on us, since we just signed a non-aggression pact with them. And they just go bother the gobos or something. Probably don't really have too much here that needs building. Turn those taxes back on. Get that done in Sartosa. Bring us a little extra trade income. There's just nothing that really needs doing. There's a lot I could do, but there's nothing that needs doing. And yeah, I'd rather just get on with the campaign, I think. So... Oh, get this to tier 5, that's good. Oh yeah, actually. Um, so I have the option to recruit a Gracier here and try and do some damage to this army. Yeah, I think... I think I like this... The idea of that. So let's go Plague and... Ooh, Knowledgeable would be good, but I actually... This guy's likely to die. Let's pick this guy up instead. Yeah, leave him outside the settlement so that he's not stuck inside it. So I want this. Loads of points to spend here, which is great. All this stuff as well. And I will take... Voice of the Horn Rat plus this. May as well pick up this in case I want to in case he stays around. I don't think there's much missile much in the way of missile weapons in the enemy army at all. So I could go for speed boost like this. Yeah, probably not quite optimal, but that's fine. This guy's reasonably likely to get killed, but I do want him to try and make a dent in this army. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Maybe just a waste of time, but we can afford it. 
All right, Scroll of Black Horror. Yeah, I do want that. Let's give that to someone in Knife's Army. Master Engineer. Oh, Knife Woody. Huh, I guess maybe that was assigned already. Great power. Yes, oh no, we have yes. another one. All right. Oh, we can give a potion of healing to this uh, fake priest. That's good as well. Yeah, don't need to cause fear or terror. He's already on a screaming bell. Okay. We encountered another Wood Elf faction, but I'm not really concerned about them. So let's see. I wonder if I can get Ikit Kalo to declare war on these uh, these guys. My infernal armory interest. Yes, yes. Should have done this before spending my gold, of course, but it's okay. Doesn't look like they're too interested anyway. Yeah. All right. And the only other mutual enemy we has it have is chaos, which they're not going to be useful against at all. Fair enough. Yeah, we'd love to get these two rights down again. Particularly this one. But have to wait a while. So yeah, I think we're going to move on to the next turn. Let's see if that Chaos Army moves up far enough to uh, trigger our ambush, or whether it is uh, more careful and just hangs out at the edge of our territory. Yeah, there's Belagar. Right, but we couldn't really catch him. I wonder if I could... Hmm, I was thinking I could get Sansquire to declare war on Reichland, but that doesn't seem super likely. Assault Garrison at Carrot Kern, okay. Yeah, Reichland are definitely gotten going here. No doubt about that. Damage walls, okay. Yeah, Belagar did make his way up towards Karak and Gazar. But again, I can just recruit a lord there next turn and be fine. I guess Ekaklor is coming after the wood elves that he's fighting? I'm trying to think of why his army would move up here. Yeah, so that army was stuck, and this one does not get ambushed. Well, that's too bad. At least we can take them on two on one, even if they uh, resist our ambush. To be honest, the ambush effect is mostly for the sake of improving our odds in order resolve. It's not like ambushing chaos is particularly helpful. Like, you can take out the hell cannon right away, but that's kind of it. Okay, so I want to fight this manually and try and do as much damage as I can. Such an annoying army, I have to say. But yeah, I've said that before. <laughs> um, too bad I don't have upgraded defenses here because I don't have warp bomb available. On the upside, I shouldn't let this guy get uh, taken out because he is not stuck in the garrison and the attack was made against him. So he can survive this battle, possibly come back to try and do a bit more damage against this army. Yeah, so I mean, we've got no chance to win here. We just have a few low-tier garrison units whose only job is to um, base tank for as long as they can against the elite Chaos and Dark Elf units that we're up against while the uh, Grey Seer gets his spells going. Alright, our garrison here is not actually that terrible. Ooh, nice. Poison Wind Globe it is. Yeah, prospects for actually wiping out some of their units. Getting better. Yeah, that's the Bolt Throwers. They have a Dragon too, which is uh, wonderful. I don't think we can do anything at all about that. Sandy Lot forward. Cold One Knights? Yeah. Well, this bot throw is absolutely shredding us. Sadly, they have other troops on top of them. Now, these ones don't. I mean, if we summon clan rats there, they'll just get wiped out straight away. We're not actually... yeah. 
My army's kind of just sufficiently full of garbage that I don't care too much about the bolt thrower. Right, you get over here. No, you even got wrecked by the dragon. Alright, now I think this makes more sense. Dropping the tenorites there. Alright, you guys, come off to the side. Obviously, those clanets are just gonna get things direct. Right, I need. I really need to be getting these plagues down. Mm -hmm. I don't rate red knights particularly highly, but needless to say, our uh, units here are not gonna be very good against them. This battle's turned out to be even more of a mess than I thought it would be. Uh-oh, that's a dragon. Yeah, you guys hit those chosen. Give me two more seconds. More plague, that's no good. Now let me click on that button, there we go. Alright, we're just, yeah, our army is just gonna get mass routed here, I can tell. Not a huge surprise, honestly. Oh, got another plague down there. Yeah, like I was saying, provided our lord here gets routed before he gets killed. Oh, murderous prowess, yeah, just what we needed. But, but, but yeah, provided this guy makes it off the battlefield and doesn't die, he can have a crack at this again. He's got over 100 kills, I mean. I'm gonna just try and see if I can get one more plague cast down with this menace below, but I think we're probably gonna get the army losses soon. I have my skirmishers just do their own thing. Okay, let's see if we can do some damage to these. May as well cast this too. I'm stuck on cooldown rather than uh, Winds of Magic plague. Alright, get in here. Take it up. Alright, that's the amulasses. Oh, just about. Yeah, okay. Well, 144 kills. Not as many as I would have liked. Sadly, they're probably going to occupy the settlement now and replenish too. If we'd had Warp Bomb, we could have done far more damage, and that is one nice thing, at least, about the other settlements in the region that have the Tier 3 walls, is Warp Bomb is pretty good against um, high-tier infantry and cavalry. Alright, these units didn't get wiped out either, which means they can actually fight again. So now they have to make the attack against the settlement, yeah. The trouble is here... I'll fight it manually again. I can try and do a bit more damage to their bolt throwers with Menace Below, and the Poison Wind Globideers, who I imagine got a fair number of kills in the last battle. I should have actually micromanaged them more carefully, but yeah, they can get something done here as well. Oh, so many trees. Well, I guess, yeah, for a battle that's unwinnable, I guess it like, sort of doesn't matter too much what the terrain is like. Hmm. Alright, this guy's alive too. Okay, that's good. I think we just kind of camp up here. Yeah, need to try and keep Sparkaster alive so that his leadership helps a tiny bit. What are our best chances of damaging a unit? I think it's the Poison Wing Globideers against... I don't know, whatever they can get in range of, basically. Now, we're not going to last very long here, so I, I want to get this first Menace Blow down pretty promptly. Alright, I guess... 
I guess they decided they can just sit back. Which is true. So we are kind of pressured to advance. So yeah, Warp Lightning, three menace blows. Where's the damage bot thrower unit? There. Yeah, so wait for those Chaos Warriors to move forward, then hit the unit behind. Yeah, nowhere near to being in magic range yet. Alright, now they're advancing. You're a little bit further. Alright, need to be looking for this. Ooh, the Red Knight unit is a little exposed, maybe. Would not be a bad unit to try and focus on. So, yeah, don't have a good way to kill them quickly. Alright, let's get the Clam Rats in the back of the bot for a crew here. And let's get casting this. Do too much, but give it a shot. And you. Are you in range to shoot? Yes. Pick down those Dread Knights, please. Some of them, anyway. No, getting hit by the cab on the other flank. Yeah, we're about to just. Yeah, we're not gonna. I'm not sure I'm even gonna get a second menace blow off here. Everyone is just routing. Yep, so it goes. I think in a um, a normal campaign, this is the kind of situation where... <sighs> There's no point hitting that unit really, but got a better target. But yeah, th this is a good situation to bring in um, Regiment of Renown. But with the Lord and Hero restriction, obviously that's not possible. Okay, this guy's rallied. Try and just do something vaguely useful. We kill another... Bolt thrower? Yeah, I think we are actually. We kind of have a bolt thrower, maybe. Alright, we haven't gotten the army losses and we are actually rallying, which is something, I guess. Our lead ship's extremely low though. Get up another warp lightning, maybe? Hit this damage unit here, which is dark shards. Right, we routed their. We routed their bolt throwers, but then the chosen got on top of us. Ah, but we've wiped that unit out, maybe. There's only two of them left. That's good. Yeah, you're gonna have to just stand and die, I think. Okay, let's get see if we can do damage to this other bolt throw unit. And maybe one last. No, oh, no, never mind. All right. Yeah, murderous prowess. That's gonna be the end of it. Well, they shot their own bolts for a little bit. Ugh. Yeah. Definitely a tough army, like I was saying. They sack that. I guess that means they want to come finish off my lord here. Well, that's fine. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. We get reinforcements from Barak Var. <laughs> this guy's at zero loyalty. Well, that's okay. So I expect we'll lose this battle, but this is another chance to do damage to them. Um... To be a bit careful here. I don't really want to take too much damage on the Barrack Var Garrison. Is this winnable? These Plague Claw Catapults can do really well against their heavy infantry for sure. I'm a bit concerned about their cavalry. We've got Storm Vermin. Storm Vermin aren't great. Especially zero experience chevrons. Yeah, we're just going to get horribly stat checked. Alright, let's do it. Kill for me, that king. Can I see? Can I see? 
Planets, Stormbird men. Actually, have guys with spears and anti large weapons here, that's good. Given their cavalry. Send the gutter runners out over here. And they're the catapults, nice. Actually, maybe they should stay where they are and start firing. Not quite in range, okay. Alright, Stormburn men. You over on this flank. You in the middle. Yeah, actually, we need more help on this left side, clearly. So, a bunch of cavalry over on this side. We'll get sh a few shots off at these Dread Knights before they're on top of us. Of course, we can shoot into melee too. Good old Skaven friendly fire. It's a valid strategy. Don't look at me like that. Oh, we do have warp bomb this time. Nice. I didn't realize that. Okay, good. Right, th these these cab are a big problem. Um, let's bring the storm bombing back over here. Okay. Exposed bolt thrower. Yes. Die. Well, your job is to hold these units in melee while we plague them to death. Which is kind of a strategy that could work. Unfortunately, we've got nothing over here that can kill that silly dragon. But, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, alright. Guys. Probably want to change target to focus fire on chosen over this way. It's probably not the best time for a warp bomb. Getting absolutely wrecked there. Done a lot of damage to them, but they, the Dread Knights went... Yeah, the Coldon, Coldons went berserk. Right, let's get down some reinforcements. You... Oh my goodness, did I just... I hate it when that happens, like some of the units just kind of appear and then derp out. And these knights are doing like the mother of all flanking maneuvers. Yeah, honestly, just go. Yeah. Do need to take down those infantry nets. If they're, okay, they're just dumping out. I don't really care too much about what they're doing. Oh shoot, you're not supposed to be in melee. That's no good. There's a big clump of baddies there. Alright. Maybe these clan rats are a decent uh, target for warp bomb? I guess not. Alright, here come these knights. Need to keep the catapults firing. Need more ratty boys over this way. Yeah, need to keep you firing too. You must be wiped off. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Doing a good job against their artillery, though. Ooh, can we walk on this? Yeah, and that was decent damage. Alright, the dragon's shown up here. Yikes. Dragon's not got too much health, but I yeah, don't miss the weapons here to really kill it. Um, we need to keep our missile units firing. There's been a lot of damage to their units. Yeah, this. Irrespective of the outcome here, I think this has worked out quite nicely for us. This lord's dying anyway, sadly, but yeah, that's, uh, that's okay. Oh shoot, dropped that on top of my storm vermin rather than the enemy unit. Okay. Yeah, Silver Chevron experience on a garrison unit from, from one battle. They've been doing their job for sure. Alright, you're over here. The trouble is, it, it doesn't matter like what state their melee units get into melee with us in. It's like these units of a tiny slither of, of life and like falling leadership are still just wrecking us. Ah well. Yeah, but the uh, garrison will not get wiped out here. They may come besiege Barrett Bar straight away. Hmm. Yeah, 
So we, we lose this Lord, like I was saying, but that's okay. A lot of these other units are not wiped out, and especially if we don't get besieged, we'll be able to replenish. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the army losses. Now, would have liked to do a bit more damage to them there, but... That was, that was certainly more successful than the previous attempts. Got a couple of units quite low. Yeah, wiped out quite a lot of their cavalry. And a decent chunk of the infantry. Okay, so these two units were wiped out, but they will come back next turn. I wonder if they can go for Barrack Vast straight away, though. No, and actually force marching. Wow, okay. Nice. Oh, yeah. Impending defection. Well, death is a good... Uh, cure for defection. Hesitant defender. Oh, he did his best. Alright. So I think that actually worked out really well. In the sense that Never. a lot of this army is kind of dealt with. They've merged some of their units. Yeah, this looks a lot less scary now. We can run back the same trick again. Dot Karaz was sacked, but we can recruit a new lord here. Um, they come for Barak Var. Let's have a look. Yes, yeah, so we did get replenishment at the start of our turn, but obviously quite depleted still on these units. I do not think they'll be able to launch the attack right away on Barak Var, so I will go ahead and grab a lord here. I forgot to recruit extra lords last turn, but that's okay. Again, leave him outside the settlement so he's not stuck inside it, because then the enemy can just make a single attack against the settlement, wipe out the garrison and the lord in one go. We don't want that. Yeah, this guy I'm not going to bother with Root Marcher. He's kind of resigned, or I'm resigned to his fate. So, that is going to do something for us. Oh, but so is this. Hold on a second. Yeah, I want to prioritize that speed. Make sure he doesn't get bogged down by infantry or whatever. Guess I don't really need Donvo the Council on this one either. Okay, an extra HP. Yeah. Uh, yeah, alright, that, that, that's fine. I could probably optimize a little better there, but it's okay. Yeah, still have to deal with the fact that they are recruiting new troops, admittedly not too quick here, out of Stonemine Tower. I want you to come over and try to kill... What's his name? Belagar. So he's going to want to retreat here, but we might ambush him and kill him. Be able to wipe him out. No, we did not. That's too bad. Yeah, an ambush, they wouldn't have had the option to retreat. Well, I guess we just chase after him. I mean, this is... Yeah, it's not a threat, even to our garrisons. And we're getting round to be able to help deal with the rogue army, so Nothing can stop me, I guess I'm not too concerned about that. Icket Claw, are you sure you don't want to help fight these other people? How about I pay you a ton of money? I just want that one stack he has over here already to just pitch in and like... Oh, nuts. Yeah, just pitch in and fight. But sadly not. Okay. God, this army's kind of derpy anyway. Warp Grinders are just not a great unit to be spamming in your armies. Okay, so no enemy armies up this way. And we can Underway hop right over here. Yes, yeah, so here's Karak Norn. Won't declare war on them now, but do have the option of wiping them out next turn or trying to. Doesn't look like they have an enormous 
garrison set up there. Okay, so that's Ulsus and Knife taken care of. Yep, and I will battle this Chaos Army even if we do not get the ambush. Oh, they were just right in the borderline of our um, ambush range. That's too bad. Knows I dominate. Trust him for now. Let's make the attack with Queek. All the Snitch's heroes get the same amount of experience either way. And I'd rather have the more experienced troops going in first, I think. Oh no, that's not what I was trying to do. That's no, okay. Alright, well, no ambush, but easy win. Good. So, two armies down, four to go. Magic armor. Let's find someone to give that to. You will do. Alright, now I don't want to block this army anymore. I'm going to have them, them to come towards me. We need to get over kind of here. Which we're probably not going to make it before their uh, armies come south at us, but that's fine. Alright. Oh, hold on. We can just follow up and wipe out this other army here as well. Uh... Sure. Win, kill. Victory, yes. Yes. That seems smart to do. Ready, yes. March, okay, don't have enough movement for any extra stance with Snitch, but that's fine. Yeah, goodbye. Yes, yes. Alright, a little bit of damage taken. Hopefully we can still make it back to friendly territory. We can. Oh, that was perfect. Yeah, very nice. Get replenishment and get to kill those two stacks essentially for free. Yeah, I think the Chaos Invasion is really just a bit more of an annoyance than anything else at this point. It's just uh, distracting Queek and Snitch from getting on after after the dwarves. But at least this first round of armies were just getting such favorable auto resolve odds that it is no problem at all. Should kill when get a chance. Right, I'm going to have multiple level ups. Yep. Should have thought about that. <laughs> Too weak to betray. <laughs> Stinks like a gracia. Root horror and... Yeah, sneaky's good to pick up for when we're fighting the dwarves next. I dominate. The dwarves have been pretty quiet, but I'm sure they're rebuilding armies. Not sure exactly where they are. Trust him for now now. Too weak to betray. Oh. Right. Knows I dominate. Trust him for now now. Stinks like a gracia. <laughs> Too weak to betray. <laughs> Knows I dominate. Should kill when get get chance. Trust yeah, him those victories now. made big difference to this army. Which is getting pretty strong. This army of uh, Snitches. Okay, so next turn we have the option to use the Underway Stance to hop over here. I think the other three Chaos armies are all going to be on this side of the mountains. 
So that could be smart. If they're able to launch the attack against Mark Gunbad this turn, yeah, no big deal. Alright. I think these assassins, I want to head over this way. Or why don't I head two over this way and one up north? No, uh, I don't need to. I've already got a couple of scouting heroes to the north, and there's no fast way for the heroes to get around this big mountain range, which I want them to just go basically straight up to, yeah, like straight north to Zuthbar, and it just takes too long. So you can head over to the Empire as well. I must admit, I'm partly doing that just out of revenge, so I can kill or attempt to kill some of the pesky heroes who took out our heroes. Alright, maybe I moved everybody else already. Yeah, I guess I did. Alright. Let's work to tier 3. Yep, yeah, good. And Carrick is out to tier 3. Nice. Actually, no, hold off on that. Because, yeah, getting Carrick buffed out of tier 3 would mean walls. And I think that's probably more important. Alright, Nagashas are made it to tier 4. I guess I did not. Well, I had the growth buildings fully upgraded here. Yeah, I mean, I guess I can only grow so quickly. That would have helped the growth. Oh well. Um, sure. Yep, safely rebuild Dead Rock Gap, and it's getting walls next turn, that's good. Yeah, in that awkward phase of wanting to, like, do a bit of building each turn, but also not wanting to spend much time on it. No, it's fine. Yeah, everything seems fine there. It's not a bad thing to just save up our money. Speaking of which, I don't think I need to build anything else. I will go look or talk to Clan Mulder. So our relations should have improved passively by a lot. Yes, they have. Excellent. They're not um, interested in a military alliance, though. Uh, let's see. How can we... How about we give you some gold? No. And we're already at war with all of their enemies, so we can't do any offer like that. Okay, no worries. Yeah, I don't really want a confederation, to be honest. Um, I just want the victory condition city at this stage, but that's fine. We can go for it another turn. Right, so this lord is ready. Could recruit... You know what? Let's just recruit another Gracier here. Yeah. Oh, I already recruited someone here. Right, right, right. Of course, they're part of the same region. Yeah. Okay. Never mind then. Could recruit somebody in Matorka, but I, I think the attack's going to come here, and maybe then Barakvar. Okay. Alright, I'm not going to bother spending more money. Um, no, I don't think we have anything else that's important to do here. And it was going over for the Wood Elves. Yeah. I am expecting Reichland to make a move at Carrick Hearn sooner or later. Yeah, they're really throwing all their armies down at the Vampires, and I think the Vampires just aren't going to last much longer. Would be my guess. What? Uh, really now?
Oh, this is a silly battle. I guess Belagar is just virtually invincible, and we have no particularly good units here. Uh, Alright, let's just see. He doesn't regenerate. He's not unbreakable. That's something. So killing his buddies will help a little, but all the balance of, or the vast majority of the balance of power is sat right here, of course. Um, oh, we only have two missile units, too. Man. Alright, I don't... I guess this battle doesn't really matter. It doesn't make sense to throw too many menace blows in there. I should have recruited a lord here last turn. Well, I don't know. I'm trying to rush a little bit in the campaign. You can probably tell. I mean, I can come clean this up no problem. He probably would raise or sack this rather than occupying it because he knows our army is right behind him. That said, I kind of want to try and kill him. I always feel like the balance of power gets a little weird in situations like this where you've got one super strong character but he's not mobile he he literally has to run into contact with us with his little dwarf legs to kill anybody yeah we'll see how it goes right i want to save you i really want to use my melee troops to yeah you guys are useless i really want to use my melee troops against their Rangers. What are we looking at for armor piercing here? No, it's not good. Armor piercing missile damage. Yeah. Even a couple of Scam Slave Slingers would be better than this. Yeah, Scam Slave Spears are basically completely useless. So he does have those. 30, 40 rangers that are just hidden. I would guess they're going to start shooting at us, but maybe not. No, they're over here. Okay. Well, that's fine. I'm not going to get into contact with Belagar. Come back with Belagar. Because why would I do that? Get clan rats on top of these boys. Alright. Mostly want to be shooting at Belagar, I think. And are you clan rats? Yes, you are. Right, I mean... Yeah, just throw everything we have into those rangers. We kill them through weighted numbers. Go, we're not doing any damage to Pelagar here. <laughs> well, okay. I guess we're tiring him out. He doesn't have perfect vigor. No, he doesn't. Hmm. Okay, I think this might be winnable. Do a bit of damage to him somehow, then he might break. Yeah, we are faster than him. Not by as much as I would have guessed, actually. And we have just... Alright. Yeah. We should actually use more planets to just make sure we break this unit. Yeah. Just surround them. That's our first summon unit going. That's okay. Scaven Slaves are in there and probably not doing much, but... Well, I guess they are apparently winning decisively. That's the first. Almost like there are other factors involved. Right, wipe those guys out. And then we just see how much damage we can do to Belagar and whether we can break him before he literally solos our army, which is the alternative. Yeah, I'm, I'm just doing this to essentially tire him out a little bit. It makes him fight worse, it drops his leadership, and for us to move, use our missile weapons. But, like, th this is pitiful damage. We have done so little damage to him. Right, this unit shattered and wiped out. Good. Alright, nice job. Skaven slaves and friends. Ah, uh, Callus. Lost a couple of clanats for no reason there. 
rats, okay. I mean, I could pile everybody on top of him, I just don't actually think that necessarily is going to get us anywhere. He is tired, at least, or red on the fatigue. Okay, let's get back over this way. I can't believe we're doing, like, actual zero DPS with the missiles. I mean, I'm not- I wasn't expecting to do loads of damage, but, like... <laughs> come on, what is this? No, he's gonna get into melee with us again. No, maybe not. Shouldn't even point blank range and still missing and hitting this other unit probably more. Yeah, definitely hitting them with friendly fire now. Oh well. Alright, I'm not sure we're actually netting balance of power from this, we're just using our, our missiles. So, screw it. In we go. Alright. And I will throw in my clan rats right now. I don't think that um, the situation gets any better here. He's already tired. We're going to start to get tired and so on. The question is, do like a thousand plus Skaven actually beat one Belgar? His leadership's reasonably low, but his health bar, yeah. He's not a great lord at just like killing loads of units. We just need to land a couple of crit, a couple of, well, yeah, they are essentially critical hits. Yeah, I think we might have this. That was a summoned unit going. Even with his melee defense, we're like 10% to hit him with everyone attacking, and there's a lot of guys around him attacking. Boy, we're not doing damage to him though. Maybe we maybe we don't have this. Hmm. Maybe the bounce of power at the beginning of the battle was just right. Well, okay, whatever. It doesn't particularly matter. We are doing damage to him. The thing is, I think he's doing damage. A little faster. We're gonna get tired too. Yeah, maybe it's a mistake to throw so many units into combat with them at once. Ah oh, well, the die is cast. I'm just gonna let it go and see what happens. Yeah, if anything, his leadership. Well, his leadership was higher. Maybe he just took another hit. Our leadership's gonna drop because of being tired, but. He's still going to have to kill a lot of these remaining Skaven. I guess he's down to like 80% health, maybe. Yeah, there's definitely Lords who have attack animations that just let them kill way more guys at once. Who would be far better in this situation. Belagar is super tanky, but he's, he's not the best at dishing out damage. Might pull out this unit. Oh, they're only scaling slaves. No, no one cares. I was thinking I didn't want to have my unit start to break, but oh, this unit I possibly should withdraw. Hmm. They're kind of holding their own. I don't think we're winning this though. We just have not dealt enough damage to him. The thing is, he's not really able to focus on one unit too much. Just try and get these ones out of there. Ah, oh, they did rout. Nuts, okay. Well, yeah, that's unfortunate. I was gonna say he's not really able to focus on and break one unit too effectively. He's actually my general, kind of, the garrison. Yeah. So we're doing damage, but a bit too slowly. Alright, well, whatever. Auto-resolve obviously wasn't going to do better than this, we were just going to 
lose and probably not even wipe out his his rangers. Yeah, just just not enough damage. Okay. So it goes. Back in here. All right, I think it's more or less gonna do it. Now I'll dutifully right click on Belgar. All right. Yep, 693 kills. Don't believe there's anything he can do to avoid my army from tracking him down next turn, though. Maybe if he sacks this and then just force marches as far away as he can. Oh, he occupied it. All right. Well, don't think that's going to work out well for him. Yeah. Oh shoot, they did get right to Mount Gumbed. Alright, that sucks. Um, yeah, no point fighting this manually, we've got no good units in the garrison at all. Well, I would have liked to turn warning so I could hop my armies across with the underway, but I guess it doesn't matter too much. We can head south and intercept those armies. No, I don't think I want a military alliance with you. I will kill, kill you. I'm not paying you money. Oh, they went for the other settlement. Okay, well... Yeah, I could only... Recruit a lord in one of these, I guess, and they, he, yeah, the enemy army would just attack whichever one. I didn't pick up a lord. No, that's fine. I'll fight this manually, but um, I will do that at the start of the next video. So, thanks a lot for watching, and yeah, I'm optimistic we can deal with this rogue army. It might take a few iterations, a few garrisons, but that's fine. Plenty more rats where they came from. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll be back with the next one.